As of last week, only 400,000 Pan Am and Para Pan Am tickets had sold, out of a possible 1.4 million. That's less than 30 percent. A TV advertising campaign doesn't seem to be bringing fans on board yet, as happened in previous host cities. It was a big thing for the city of Winnipeg. Toronto's got that sort of jaded quality about it, where if it's not considered quote-unquote major league, it seems the city doesn't rally around it. Despite promises of Panamania descending on Toronto, one hotel manager says he's only at 40% occupancy for July so far, compared to almost completely booked a year ago. And he's not the only one. When the excitement gets the better of you, your expectations grow very, very high. And reality sometimes has to kick back in. That it's not going to be the whole world that floods Toronto. But games organizers promise the ticket sales and bookings will come. And they're working to include everyone in these games. The torch started its route in Mexico with Aboriginal Canadians and continues here, including a group of First Nations men who carried the torch back in 1967 but weren't allowed to enter the stadium with it. To make amends, the group known as the Front Runners was asked to carry the torch in 1999 and now they're here today. It's still a lot of fun. It's, it's still interesting. We, we look forward to attending these things.